Okay, now let's find a quotient. If we're given um, decimals as your div dividend and decimals as your divisor. Let's go ahead and try this. We've got 15.6 divided by 0.3. So the 15.6 goes in your inside the division house, and your divisor is the second number, which is 0.3, right? So what we're going to do is whenever you have decimals in your divisor, right, you're going to swing as many swings as it takes so that way your divisor has no decimal. So let's go ahead. How many swings does it take for the divisor to have no decimal? Swing it once, now it's a 3. It goes from 0.3 to 3. So if we swing from here to there, the brand new decimal will be here, right? And if we swing one on the, ins one on the outside, we have to swing one on the inside. So let's swing one on the inside, right? And what will the brand new decimal be? Right here. So let's copy that over again. That will be 0, 03 into 156. See how there is an imaginary decimal here and here, but I don't have to write it. So, so now we can just rewrite that as, and just divide it like this. How many times does 3 go into 1? Zero times. How many times does 3 go into 15? Five times. 3 times 5 is 15. Subtract is 0. Bring down the 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2, correct? And then 2 times 3 is 6, so track by 6 is 0. So your final answer is 52. That's your quotient.